The next part of Inksoft I'm going to show you is Inksoft Stores. And this is how we're going to help you to grow your business. So you're able to launch and manage custom branded online stores for decorated products. You're creating a dynamic e-commerce website. You're able to quickly create mock-ups, get products populated into your stores using Rapid Product Creator. You're able to eliminate paper order forms, and that's going to cut down on all your errors. And you're able to manage your group orders, and that's 24-7, so you can provide an experience for your client where they can buy at their leisure any time of the day or night. And your stores are secure, and they're very efficient. So the best part about Inksoft Stores is you get paid up front, and you don't have any receivables. So let me get right into a store so you can see how easy it is to set up an Inksoft store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select create new store. I'm going to name the store. It will automatically generate a URL. I can customize this URL, but let's say Central Boosters has their own domain. They have centralboosters.org and they create a page centralboosters.org forward slash stores. I can redirect the store to their custom URL. So I don't have to display Inksoft anywhere in the URL. Also, if we redirect to a custom URL, Inksoft is going to create an SSL certificate. So when the end user lands on the page, they're not going to get a warning in their browser that says unsecure. The ability to seamlessly blend in the store using the customer's domain and URL is something not commonly seen in other e-commerce platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and select the continue option. This is where I'm going to be prompted to go through a process to set up the store. So I can decide if it's public or private, all the different settings, who the contact manager is going to be for the store. I'm going to be walked through the entire process of setting up the store. And you notice there's a little progress bar up here that's telling me how far I've gone. So we're going to set up the store branding with the logos and the colors. If we're going to add the designer into the store, what artwork we're going to include in the designer, all the way through social media links and store policies, and here's your domain settings. Once you have this done once, you can save all those settings as defaults so you don't have to go through them each time you set up a store. At Inksoft, every store operates as its own business, so you can configure a store for the unique needs of your customer. Another way for me to create a store is to clone a store. So if I set up a centralized store, that's my sample store for all my teams and schools, I can get that set up and then I can clone it and the layout will come over, all the store settings will come over. And now I can even include all of the store art and the products. How does that help? Let's say I've curated 25 unique products for my team stores. And on those 25 unique products, I have four different graphics three vector graphics, and one DST embroidery file. If I bring over the products and the store artwork, I can use the global art replacement function to take those four graphics and swap them out with four new graphics or embroidery files and completely localize the store with a new artwork. I don't have to create those products from scratch. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is my standardized school store. I've got a fundraising module here. I have a featured product, a couple more products in here. I've added some testimonials. I've got this store pretty loaded up. So if I clone this store, all I need to do is swap out the artwork and I can easily localize this into a new store. So now we have the same store with East Eagles. I replace the banner, replace the logo. I change the color scheme. I have the same products, but I use global art replacement to swap out the central boosters logos with the East Eagles logos. I even did that on the DST embroidery file. So this is a very quick and easy way to create stores for multiple entities. And you can do this for schools, teams, or even businesses. It's particularly great if you have a business store that has 30 or 40 different products with the same logo on it. You can just swap out that logo on all 30 or 40 products at once. Very fast and efficient way to launch new stores. If I go into my store admin area, I can see all the products I cloned from the Central Booster store. I can also see all of the artwork. So there's corresponding artwork to all these designs, including the embroidery designs in the Central Booster store. So what I did is just swapped out this artwork with the Central Booster's artwork and it automatically populated the product. But where does this artwork come from? So it comes from a variety of sources. You may have digitized this Eagles file in your particular embroidery software, uploaded the DST file. Maybe you're using CorelDRAW, Illustrator, Canva, possibly Inkscape or Affinity Designer, and you created vector files and you uploaded them. But there's another way of creating artwork, and that's using Graphics Flow. Graphics Flow is a giant depository of vector artwork, and we have tools where we can customize those graphics without having to use a professional design program. Before I create the product with a new graphic, I'm going to do some basic edits on my store. So I'm going to go over here to Style Editor, and you'll notice there's different components in the store. So when the store is first created, it comes in with some stock components. 
I've added a few additional components. I've added a promo bar. I added a fundraising bar. I updated a graphic into the header. And every component that you click on will have its own set of tools that can be customized. And so if I click on edit over here, this is where I could remove that particular banner, set up an effect with that banner. If I go down here and click on goal setting for this fundraising banner, I can set up all the tools for goals. So for instance, I want to set up the description of how much money is going to boosters, the sales goal, what percentage is going. I can do that all here, set an end date. So you're being prompted by the component with the ability to go in and customize that component. It's a very simple, easy, elegant way to customize a store. Let's create a new product. I'm going to go ahead and delete this product right here. And I'll show you how easy it is to customize your store. So I'm going to go over here to components. I'm going to select a component for featured product. I'm going to see that component here at the bottom. I'm just going to grab the little three bars here to reorder the component. And I'm going to drag it all the way up to the top underneath my, my header there. So here's my fundraising banner and I'm going to drag it right over there. We've got the new component in there, but there's no product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and publish, and then I'm going to go and add the new product. To add the new product, I'm going to navigate back to store admin. So once I've gone into the admin area, I can see all the products I've previously built and I can create a new product. So I'm going to click on create new. I'm going to select a product. These are just products that I curated specifically for this store. But again, we're connected to the supplier feed so I can pull in any product from any of our 29 suppliers. So I'm going to select this Gildan 2000 t-shirt here. This Gildan 2000 t-shirt has 60 colors. And so if I was having to create mock-ups for say 20 different colors, with three different colorways of graphics for a non-industry platform, I'd have to create 20 mockups. I don't have to do that with Inksoft. I can just scroll down here and maybe we want to add Navy. Got the Ash shirt. I want to upload my graphic. I'm going to upload a PDF file here. So here's the file that I created. It's going to pull in all the vector art and that's going to allow me to set up a colorways. So if I go over here and click on this graphic and I'm going to resize that a little bit and maybe we want to do a left chest or more, maybe a full chest, we can do all of that dynamically. But I'm looking at this graphic, and when I go and change it to navy, I notice there's navy, and the actual graphic doesn't look good on navy blue. So I can change that right in Inksoft. I'm actually editing the vector graphic by going to View Colorways, creating a new colorway, selecting the navy color, and reassigning that to gray, and we've created a new colorway for that graphic. On navy, it's going to look like this. And then on Ash, it's going to look like this. So you're just clicking on the art to assign it to that product. Inksoft is creating the mock-up dynamically. It's matching up the correct color of the product with the correct version of the graphic in the correct colorway. So I'm not having to involve my art department or work with an external graphics program to create mock-ups. The next step is just adding all the details to the product. So you notice we already have access to the golden logo, the product description, even the size chart. But I'm going to click on Create Product. I'm going to click on product details, and then I'm going to come in here and do some customizations. I don't want to limit myself to Gildan, so I'm going to go over here and backspace and just make it 100% cotton tee. I'm going to choose to have navy be the first color that's displayed in the dropdown. I'm going to add a custom SKU here so I can run a report by CB and pull up all the CB products. I'm going to put my retail price in here, and then I'm going to add an upcharge here for 2x and 3x. So we're going to make that 30 and 4x and 5x, 35. And then what I'm going to do is hit finish to create the product. If I'm adding an embroidery product, I can upload a DST file. I can then create colorways for different color substrates. And I can even select thread colors from industry standard thread color charts. With things after, you're not going to need an external embroidery program to recolor a DST file or create embroidery renderings. And this is going to help you to sell more embroidered products. It's super simple to add products to the store. I'm just going to go back to the style editor. I'm going to grab my featured product, click on manage products, and just select my new product and hit done. It's that easy. I've helped customers build out stores in nearly every major e-commerce platform. I've never found another platform that's more intuitive and easier to use than Inksoft. It's just a very efficient, quick way to build stores. And especially using the clone stores function, you create a model store for that market segment, whether it's corporate or team or event. You clone the store, the products come over, you do a global art swap to localize all the graphics, and you can build dozens of stores very quickly. It's just a super simple, fast way to mobilize stores. Whether you're creating a store for a corporation, organization, or an event, you're making it easy for your customers to buy from you.
You're also controlling the merchandising program, but most importantly, you're locking out your competition. The key to success with Inksoft is making it easy for your customers to purchase from you. Whether it's with online stores, a self-service experience with the Inksoft designer, or proposals, you're able to acquire new customers and retain the customers you're already working with. If you'd like to drill down on the details and find out how Inksoft can help you to grow your business, I'd suggest booking a personalized demo at Inksoft.com.